joined by head tennis coach Jair Benuelos. And coach, let's talk about your transition. You know, you've had a few months under your belt. How's it been going from GA to now the head coach? Uh, it's been tough. It's been up and down. It's been a, a great challenge. I, you know, I have a great time with all the the players. Some players, uh, most of them, they're returners, so I know them pretty well. Uh, we have new players that you know. It's been you know a little bit to. Uh, it takes a little while to get to know them. Obviously, the same thing from their part. But it's been a good uh, good time so far. A lot of. Uh, work to do for sure, a lot of improvement, but it's been uh, good. And let's talk about the teams. First with the women's, you know, Anya was named the RMAC Preseason Player of the Year. You've already had a couple matches under your belt, played a couple Division ones. You have a lot of returners there and a few new girls. Just talk about how you see the team going so far. Well, uh, the team is, you know, is, uh, we just barely started the season, so uh, we have to, there's a lot of work to the left, but I see the team starting in a good position this year. Uh, obviously, Anna, um, you know, she's a junior. She's been here for two years, and all uh, her two years have been great. You know, achieving a lot of great things. I'm a player of the year, you know, last year, and now the preseason player. So uh, obviously, uh, for her, you know, there's you know high expectations from her part, from my part. But you know, I'm pretty sure, like with uh, her and the team's hard work that they're putting, and and a lot of input from them, it's gonna be a good season. Um, I'm really expecting to, to like this coming weekend, uh, start playing better, better, and just go uh, up from there. Now you look on the men's side, you know, they haven't had any matches yet, but, you know, Rodrigo was named the Armat Preseason Player of the Year. You return a lot of guys there as well, and you've also got three new players, so just talk about how they're mixing well together. Yeah, well, the, the men's team is, you know, quite different. The schedule is uh, a little different, but, uh, you know, we're going to play a lot of matches, tough matches, and, uh, I mean, Rodrigo as well, he's a senior, you know, I know him since he was a freshman, so um, I'm really confident that he's going to have a great last season. And um, the three new guys, you know, unfortunately one is not eligible, but the other two, they're really um, talented. Um, so I'm really happy with the re recruits and also with the returners, you know, they, they see more uh, focus into, into this season, even though we don't play as many matches. As last year, but you know they're all working hard and and getting ready for this coming week. You know, and the last thing is too. I mean, how much does it help when you get to you know you don't play as many matches, but you know getting these kind of non-conference matches in. You know, getting some under their belts. You know, you go to Phoenix, you play a ton of matches this coming week. You go to California. I mean, how much does that you know help with the, the student athletes because you know you get them with some of that experience before conference play starts. Uh, it's definitely great because even though they are not conference matches, they are still really tough matches. We play against top Division two schools, and uh, it's great to start uh, getting some match play, get you know the nerves out for the freshmen. You know, uh, I don't, I'm not sure if they know what to expect from college tennis. So um, it's gonna be a great, uh, great tournament in my opinion. Uh, so we'll see what happens. We, I'm sure they're gonna uh, go and play, you know, to the last point. So. All right, coach. Appreciate it.